allow me to introduce you to the universal oxygen sensor. Now they've been around for quite a few years but they're just now coming into their own because using these universal oxygen sensors with all the new technology is what's getting us reduced emissions and higher fuel economy and acceptable performance. The universal oxygen sensors have been around for years like I just told you and you know what they've had a whole bunch of different names wideband, air fuel, wide range, lean air fuel, broadband, wide range, and of course the wide range air fuel sensor. They put both names in there. So why do we want this? Why do we need a universal oxygen sensor? You know the big deal is that they measure a much wider range of air fuel mixtures than does the old narrow band oxygen sensor. The old standard one was called the narrow band oxygen sensor because as the engine operated outside a very narrow band the oxygen sensor couldn't read the too rich or the too lean conditions. Now the computer is going to get much faster control of fuel delivery and enter closed loop faster because all these sensors are heated. Let's build a graph demonstrating the old technology, the narrow band oxygen sensor, and we used 450 millivolts to represent that 14.7 ideal stoichiometric point. Now let's look and lay in there the oxygen sensor's working range. We can see over here on the rich side that it stopped reading. The yellow line, the oxygen sensor, went flat after about 14.4 to 1. And then over on the lean side, it went flat at about 14.8 to 1 the oxygen sensor read in a very narrow window. Now remember 14.7 is the ideal and the oxygen sensor was only reading slightly leaner and slightly richer than that. Let's look at the wideband sensor or the universal sensor. It can read as rich as 13.1 to 1 and of course it can read as lean as 16.1 the oxygen sensor just reads in a wider range so the computer can have greater control outside a narrow band. So old versus new technology, the old here, the narrow band oxygen sensor, we said it goes from 14.4 to 14.8. That was in fact a very narrow band. The new one 13.2 to 16.1. The wider measurement is giving the computer much greater control over the fuel over a much wider operating range. That's why we have these new sensors.